Earlier in the tutorials, we imported a project from 5.5 and it was all red, missing its links and everything. So let's open that up again and see if we can fix it. So if I recall correctly, it was on the G drive in the backup projects directory. There it is, computer setup. Open her up again. And there it is, everything is red and that's not good. So I'm gonna expand my project browser out a little bit so I can see what's going on. See if I can relink some of this stuff. First thing is, this is probably a video file. Let me right click on it, choose properties. Video audio, that kind of makes me think it is a video file. And it's saying it's in the Z Drive computer setup. So let's do this. Let's right click on this clip, go to verify imported media. We'll choose link. And huh, just like that, it relinked to it. Now, why did it happen so easily? Normally it's not that easy. Let's take a look at the properties now. Okay, so it is saying it's in the Z computer setup folder. Do I remember seeing one of those? Computer setup. And there it is. So that's probably why it was still seeing the original path. Let's take a look at what else is missing here because there's still a lot of red there. So the AGP setup. Let's see if we can find that. Let's go to details and we'll sort alphabetically. It's not in that rack. Media clips. AGP setup. Okay, right click. Go to properties. It's saying it's in that directory too. Let's right click and go to verify imported media link. Okay, that was pointing in the right direction as well. Let's try it again. I'm just gonna shift click at the bottom of the list here to highlight everything. Now I'm gonna right click, go up to verify imported media, click. Aha, uh -huh. now it's not finding this guy, the H computer setup computer, CAI computer setup dot AVI. So let's go back to our Z drive to the computer setup. And now we're looking for the CAI computer setup video. So let's check the reels first. Nope, not there. How about in here? Nope, not there. Okay. So it's not finding the CAI computer setup AVI. So if I right click on that, choose copy, and then cancel out of this. Let's go to our import search media. Now I will say all video images, all audio, and I'll right click in here and choose paste to put my name and my file in here. And now I'm gonna use the search to find this. So let's go for it. And while it's searching through all the drives and directories, let's point out what we did here. I had all file extensions highlighted. I had all the local hard drives available. Told it to look in subfolders, otherwise it would just look on the folder level. I've also told it to ignore capture and render folders, so I don't want it looking there. Ignore program folders, ignore system folders, and ignore paths. So perhaps what I might want to have done here was to tell it to look in capture and render folders, just in case I had stored it there. Chances are it wouldn't go into program or system folders. Let's see what kind of results we get just with this setup the way it is right now. So even though this is a very comprehensive search, it failed to find the CAI computer setup.avi file. So in this case, I might be out of luck. And I know exactly what file that is. It's a close-up angle of the computer. If we go back, there's the example of the close-up angle of that computer. And there's the CAI computer setup. So let me right-click here, go to Properties. Go to general. So if, if this was indeed the tape that I captured this from, you can see I still have the time code values of 184719 to 185043. I could do a batch dig or a batch digitization by right clicking, going up to batch digitize, and this pretty much takes the wind out of my sails, doesn't it? And why is that? Well, it's saying batch digitize is not possible with selected clips reason, either only imported clips or empty sequence selected. Well, my, my sequence is not empty, so the chances are I had actually captured this with some other program and then imported them into Liquid Edition. Now, I've seen a lot of talk going around about using Scenalyzer, and that's fine and dandy, but if it does not import the metadata of all the information of where these clips came from, what reel and such, 
then if you needed to rebatch digitize them, you would be in the same boat that I am in right now, sinking rather quickly. So while we're here trying to restore this project, let's just take a look at what else is missing. In the stuff rack, okay, the Creation Trek logo is missing. Simply color bars. That should be easy to fix if we take a look at the path. It's the C system. And it goes all the way down to, ah, the Liquid 5. And that's gone off this system, so I could re-import Simpty Color Bars out of the new Liquid Edition directory by right-clicking Import Media Clip, going to the C Drive, Program Files, Liquid, Media, Test Pattern. Now, if I live in North America, I would choose NTSC. If I lived in Australia or Europe, I would choose PAL. I currently am in the North American continent. Simpty Color Bars. I link to them, and there they are. I've got some Tidal Deco graphics. Let me right-click on these. Can I open them with Tidal Deco? Apparently not. So, do you wish to browse for this in the particular path? Tidal Deco CA comp? Nope. It's not there. So again, this is all good reasons why using the Backup and Restore tool is a whole lot better than uh, going this route. Aha, uh -huh. now this should be easy to restore. I know these guys are still on the hard drives. Let's just try right-clicking, do a Verify Imported Media All in Rack, say Link. Okay, it's asking me where is the Arc de Triomphe number one. I know that's on the Z drive in the Paris folder. There it is, click on it. And did it restore anything else? Let's uh, try something and refresh. It didn't see it, even though I directed it to the right place. Let's try pointing the media management to that particular folder by adding computer Z. We'll go to Paris. Right there. Okay. 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 Now we'll try a verify imported media. All in rack. Arc de Triomphe. And still it will not relink. That is really odd. Let's try changing a rack and then coming back to it. Still not doing it. Now let's try this guy. Right click, verify imported media, link. Go up one level to the Aussie rack. Aussie animals, there he is. Okay, now that's what's supposed to happen. It's extracting the audio once again and bringing it back into our project. So verifying imported media is a good way to get things linking. Now, if they still refuse to relink, which this one is, I will just right click and re import it because I know exactly where it is. It's in the Paris. Arc de Triomphe number one. It's going to bring it in, and then we're going to have two of these. This one's going to be relinked, and we'll have a second one. And there it is right there. Let's double click. So there we go. 